Hello and welcome to the Fiercely Spiritual Podcast. I'm your host, Sandra Ray, and I am following on this week from a topic that we started discussing last week. And I wanted to go deeper into it. And I talked about this last week. So firstly, if you haven't watched or listened to last week's episode, go and listen to that first because it'll make more sense if you listen to that first. And secondly, you may be wondering why I'm wearing a jumper and it is the middle of June. Um, It is raining here today in Ireland. It is actually really cold. I put my heating on earlier and this morning I got up and I thought, you know what? I'm going to wear a jumper because it's just too cold to be in a t-shirt or something else. So that's why I'm wearing a jumper in the middle of June. I do live in Ireland, so that's my excuse. Um, I hope wherever you are that you're having a lovely summer. And by the way, I'm going away next week, so I will be in the sun and I am a cold creature. I love my warmth, so I'm looking forward to that. And of course, I'm all about living in the present moment, enjoying the present, enjoying the rain, enjoying whatever life sends our way in this moment, but eagerly anticipating the sun that is to come next week. So we, if you haven't tuned into last week's episode, as I said, go and listen to that. It's called The Key to Unlocking Your Life. And just to remind those of you who did listen, We talked about how the key to unlocking your life is loving yourself unconditionally. So I know this is something that is hard for a lot of us, for most of us, because we're brought up, as I was talking about last week, to believe that we're not good enough or we have to do more or be more or achieve more. And that's been our set point for most of our lives. So it's about changing that set point to something different and being in a state of loving yourself unconditionally. And that in itself is a process. But we started talking about that and how that's so important. But I want to go deeper into it because when you love yourself unconditionally, when things are going well, it's a little bit easier to love yourself because you're feeling good, you're feeling happy, you're maybe not so hard on yourself. but the, to master this is to be able to love yourself unconditionally when things are tough, when you're experiencing pain and suffering in your life, those times when you can love yourself through your pain, when you are in a situation where you feel that you've failed. And by the way, there is no failure, there is just learning as far as I'm concerned. But Sometimes we feel that we failed and loving yourself for trying, loving yourself through that. When you're in a situation where you're feeling sad and loving your emotions, loving every part of your emotions, the seeming good and seeming bad and allowing your emotions to guide you back to something that feels better. And we're actually going to be going into this a little bit more next week. We're going to be talking about your emotional guidance system. So we're going to go deeper into that. But this week, I want to say to you to start seeing yourself as a small child. And when you're feeling that you've failed, when you're feeling in pain, when you're feeling sad, when you're feeling angry, imagine that it's the child inside you that's feeling sad and angry because really it actually is because it's the subconscious programming that has taken place between the ages of zero to seven years old that's running out that when I say running out that's that's processing when you're going into emotions of pain or sadness generally it's a program that's been running since you've been little And it's one that is just on this habitual process of somebody, you know, says something you don't like, so then you feel angry, or somebody says something you don't like, so then you feel sad. Whatever programming 
you installed into your subconscious when you were younger, that's what's going to play out. So for one person, somebody says something you don't like and you get really angry for because that's their programming. For another person, that same person can say the same thing and they feel really sad. And for a third person, they could hear the same thing. Somebody could say the exact same thing to them and they have no reaction to it. So it's all about your subconscious programming. And so if you can tune into that little child inside you who's hurting, then you can be the parent to that child and give them the love that they need. You can be the source of love for yourself. And what's going to happen is you'll start to notice that as you do this, when you first feel the pain or the anger or the sadness or whatever it is, you'll you'll be the emotion, you will be the pain, you will be the sadness, you'll be the anger. And there's no separation from it. But in time, you will begin to take a step back and you'll begin to notice when the emotion is coming up and when the feeling is coming up. And you'll begin to recognize, okay, this is the program playing out. Uh, this is my inner child, if you want to call it that. This is my self when I was six years of age or five or four, whatever it is. And you'd be able to just take that step back, which is all that you need. Sometimes that little bit of distance is all you need. And then start sending love to that child from the viewpoint of you already having all the love you need. And just sending love to that child within you. And sometimes I will see it as someplace in my body. Sometimes I'll see it as maybe separated from me. It just depends on what's happening. So just be really aware of that. But if you're finding it tough to love yourself unconditionally, if you're finding that even in the good times, even when there's nothing going wrong and to be honest, there's never anything going wrong because it's only our perception that judges things to be right or wrong. But let's say your perception is judging everything in your life as going well. And you're still finding that you just don't really like yourself or you don't love yourself or you still find it tough to give yourself that love. Then I want you to start actively doing something to start sending love to yourself. So it could be as simple as just sitting still and sending love to yourself. And you'd be really surprised when you do this, how good it feels. You might want to sit down and write out 30 things that you love about yourself and then read through them and feel that love as you're reading through it. You might want to treat yourself. You might want to buy yourself some flowers or treat yourself to a walk or just have some me time. And that's a form of showing love to yourself. And you may just start telling yourself an affirmation that resonates with you. It could be, I love myself. It could be, I am worthy. It could be, I am significant. I am enough. Whatever resonates with you. And just Keep telling yourself that when you find yourself going into that negative self-talk, just reminding yourself, I do love me. I am enough. I am worthy. So try those things. Try all of them if you want or whichever one resonates with you. See how you get on with it. But it's really important to start doing it, particularly if things are going well for you, so that when you come to a time when you're not feeling so good, you will have that habit established so that that will be your go-to as soon as you start feeling the pain or the anger or the jealousy or the blame or whatever it is, you'll have that to go to and you'll start saying to yourself, I am enough, or you'll go and buy yourself those flowers, or you'll do something nice for yourself, or you'll just sit and be still and just tune into that inner child and send yourself love. And you will know what to do because you've done it already. So please don't just listen to this episode and go and go about your day and never practice any of these things because it's really when you practice it, that's how you integrate it. You don't integrate it 
by listening to these podcasts or watching them. You integrate it by practicing it and you practice it every day. It's not a one-off practice. It's something that you do by integrating it into your life every single day. So go and practice. Enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.